Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Today we are going to be talking about workspaces. We just rolled out a new feature and it's called the new and improved workspaces, which is how Teams in Publer used to be, but more improved. So let's get started right away. Here I'm setting up my account for workspaces. So I'm going to do just that. Let me also add the password and then continue. And the first thing that we're going to see right after we set up our account is this, the new and improved workspaces. You're going to be welcomed into Publer. Now you can click on get started and the first thing that you're going to be doing is selecting the role that describes you best. So let's say uh, social media manager. We found out about Publer on social media and the company size that doesn't really matter at the moment, but yes. Let's create a workspace together. So let's call it Publer Workspace. And let's say we're in the technology, yes, technology industry. Click on continue. And here, right away, you will be able to add your social accounts in this workspace. So let's run an example. Let's see what that looks like. Let's select Facebook, select the page, and obviously we'll be redirected to Facebook. Make sure to enter your password. Click on continue. Continue again, okay. And then here you will be able to select your Facebook social accounts that you wanna to add to this workspace. So let's just choose the public workspace here and click on continue. If you don't wanna add any more accounts, which at the moment we won't, let's just click on continue. You will see that Publer is setting up your account and then after that you'll be able to use the workspace that was just created for you or create another workspace. So let's use the Publer workspace that we just created and here you are. This is the new and improved view of workspaces in Publer. The create page um, is basically the first page on the workspaces again but it is still a work in progress um, we will soon be able to show a live preview, which will be on the right side here, which will be a live preview of any post that you are creating. Um, regarding the other pages, they're pretty much the same and they haven't changed a lot, but we're going to cover those in a while. For now, let's take a look at where you can find all your workspaces. So at the top right corner here, where it says Publer Workspace, you will be able to find all the other workspaces that you have created. You can create a new workspace just by clicking on create new workspace and you will be going through the same steps that we just went through earlier. Apart from that, whenever you want to switch between workspaces, you just need to click on the other workspace that you want to use and you will be redirected to that. For example, if I want to use this one that I'm currently using, Publer will be refreshed and then I will be led to this workspace. To manage this workspace, you simply have to go on the left side here where the navigation bar is moved to and click on the workspace settings icon. Here you will be able to change the name of the workspace, the logo, the members of the workspace, the social accounts it has and also delete it. Keep in mind if you delete the workspace everything that is related to it whether that's social accounts, members, posts etc will be deleted as well. So let's take a look at the members of the workspace. If you click on view members you will be redirected to this here. So if it's the same as clicking on members on the left hand side. Here you will be able to invite members to your workspace. And the way you can do that is by clicking on invite member on the top right corner, choosing the role of the member. So let's say we want to give them the admin role and then adding their email address. So after that, click on next. And here you will be able to assign the social accounts to this member. So add the social accounts. And let's say we want to assign the Facebook accounts and the Instagram and TikTok accounts. After that, you can choose how you want this user to be posting, whether it's using the owner credentials or the member credentials, it's up to you. And at the end, simply click on invite. Then that member will receive an invite and you will see the pending icon here until they accept the invite to join your workspace. And now let's go back to workspace settings. And here, as mentioned earlier, we can also see the social accounts. So if you click on view social accounts, it will be the same as if clicking on social accounts on the left side here. So let's click on social accounts. We will be redirected to the social accounts that we have added for this workspace. And if you want to add any more social accounts, you simply need to click on connect, choose the social account you want to add, and then continue with the steps just like you normally would. 
So that's it regarding the workspace settings. Um, let's go back to the pages here on the left hand side. As you noticed, the navigation bar is now on the left side and this is where you'll be able to find all the pages. So if I go to posts and I maybe search for posted, I will be able to see uh, previous posts that I have shared and so on uh, on my Facebook page and, and everywhere else as well. Posts have not changed in any way, so it's the same view, it's just a little bit more full screen and you can always close the navigation bar as well to make it even more fuller. Now if we go to the calendar, uh, we will notice that the view here is definitely a full screen view, so that's something that has changed in the calendar. Let's take a look at the posted posts and maybe go back in time, so last week. Um, and as you can see, the view is just more composed, you can see a lot more more posts and even if you click on monthly um, view you will be able to to see all the posts as well so that's one advantage of having a full screen calendar everything else is still the same you can still drag and drop posts around the same way as you would earlier and with the media library or the other uh, sections nothing has really changed they're all the same rss feed content and analytics as well so the only thing that has changed is that they're simply here on the left hand side. And lastly, one other thing that has changed is probably the settings of your Publer account. Here on the top right hand side, you can see the Publer icon, which is the icon of your um, account. And if you click on it, you can choose to see settings, the plan, get a discount, link in bio, refer and earn, browser extension and logout, which is the same as previously. Next to it, you'll be able to see the notification bell where you'll find all your notifications for Publer and then next to it is an info icon. That's where you can go to when you need to find the help center, the feedback page, request a demo or to read our blog. So let's take a look at settings. As mentioned, that part has changed a little bit. If you click on settings here, you will be redirected to this view where you'll be able to find the settings of the Publer profile. You can change your accounts photo, name, the time zone, time format, and everything else. This is also where you will be able to delete your popular account. Apart from that, every other category is again the same, nothing has changed. You will be able to see your apps here, notifications, your billing, and also the, the bonus page, which is where you can go to, to leave a review and to get discounts for all your future invoices. So that is it when it comes to the new workspaces. I hope this video was helpful in some way. If you have any questions, please let us know in the comments below and we will be more than happy to answer them. Thank you all for joining me. Bye.